My name is Leah Bertucci, and I'm here to walk you through my new library that I created with Spitfire Audio called Extended Vox. With this library, we set out to push the human voice to new extremes. What we've ended up creating is a completely unique and wild toolkit that allows the user to explore the outer reaches of vocalization and to rethink the human voice in terms of texture and timbre. Performed by myself and three avant-garde vocalists, the original recordings have been taken to new sonic dimensions with the aid of electronic processing. Let's dive in and see what it can do. So if we click on the drop-down menu, we find four amazing vocal artists who have created completely unique samples. Audrey Chen, Jean-Su Tanrikulu, myself, and Phil Minton. On the left, we have the expression slider, and on the right, we have the processing slider which moves between multiple layers of varying processing. For more control, we have six effects, which can be found on the right-hand side here. Let's start with the first one in the library by Audrey Chen. Here's the sound totally dry. And here's the sound totally processed. Moving on, we can try a pitched yodel from Audrey Chen. I'm going to add some different reverb to that. We'll try a church balcony. Audrey sound is her pursed lip sound. This is a really unique one and a lot can be done with it in terms of the way that we've decided to process this sound. So here's the sound uh, totally dry. And here's going from dry to uh, fully processed. Next up, we have Audrey Chen's gibberish sample. It's really amazing how you can create so much dimensionality and um, a choir-like effect with this one. I think this is also a good one to demonstrate the start point. In addition to our more percussive sounds, we also have sounds that are more rich in pitch content. Uh, a really great example of this is the low mm by Audrey Chen. If 
for a more ominous texture, we have this really great one from Audrey Chen called Low Undulations. So whether you're looking to score a horror movie or a UFO abduction film, we have you covered. We have some really nice processing that comes with this one. So this one can really add a lot of amazing low-end sub-bass to whatever you're composing. One of the more powerful samples that we have is Audrey Chen's Lip Trills. This is perfect for the next iteration of Jurassic Park or any kind of terrifying monster you might come upon. Now for something more rhythmic, we have Audrey Chen's glottal and click sample. This one is split across the keyboard into three different sections. And as you can hear, there are different samples on each one that are more phrase-like. The vocalists that I engaged for this project all represent different corners of the avant-garde, who all have their own distinct styles. The next vocalist represented is Jonsu Tanrakulu. She is a Berlin-based vocalist, originally from Turkey, and she brings a really unique set of sounds to this library. The first one of Jonsu's is Birdsong. I'm going to change the reverb on this one, give it a bit more of a long tail. Jansu's electronic section is a particularly fertile one for a lot of different variation. Holding down one key has so much richness in it. So you can really create entire worlds just from one held key. There's really so much to explore in this one. In Jean Su's section, we have a really haunting sample called Multiphonic Exhales. Let's take a look. So you can see the kind of terrifying choirs that you can make with this one. A really fun one from Jean Su is the pitched bouncy castle. <laughs> Going deeper into freak territory, we have the tongue roll. This is a sample that you can really just get so creative with. You can let your imagination run wild. Um, it sounds like so many different things. Strange animals, an instrument from an alien planet. <laughs> I 
A lot of her samples have this kind of sci-fi quality to them, which I really like. Jean Su is an expert whistler, and uh, these samples show what kind of amazing range she has just with a whistle. I like this one because it has a kind of theremin-like quality, a very synthetic tone to it, but still that human element. You can still hear the, the whisper of the breath coming out of her mouth. I, I love how uh, different directions of notes happen. So you can create some really complex glissandi with that one. So I also am a contributor to this library, um, although I don't really see myself as a vocalist necessarily. Um, over the last year or so, I've been doing a lot of experiments with processing my voice through a reel-to-reel -reel tape machine. This process sort of bends and twists my voice. It, it warps it and then extends it. Um, and you can do a lot of very interesting stuff with this. So um, I'm just going to start playing uh, one of my samples. This is called the ah and m mm warp. And I'm going to play this without the additional processing from Spitfire, and then I'll bring the processing in so you can hear how much it changes. <laughs> So I would say that this is probably one of the weirder ones that we have going. Um, you can hear the pitch shifting of the voice um, and the way that the processing that Spitfire has built into it really can build it out into more uh, choir-like arrangements. Another one of mine is called Consonants. <laughs> So these ones are more phrases in which I'm sort of isolating the different consonants and I'm kind of like bordering on language but also kind of not getting there quite yet. <laughs> um, another one of mine is called Suralu and Word Salad. <laughs> So that one definitely is uh, getting closer to language, but still uh, not entirely comprehensible. <laughs> Just how I like it. Another one in my section is called the S Whisper. And this one, I was really trying to explore the textures and variation within uh, sibilants. <sighs> That one sounds very much like a storm at sea. There's a lot of uh, natural elements to it, and I think it could be a really interesting way to, uh, to build on an existing diegetic sound, um, a landscape, uh, a seascape, something like that. Especially if I play with the attack and the release points. So I'm going to take the attack and move it about three quarters of the way through, and I'll take the release and I'll move it all the way up. So 
So by changing the envelope of the sound, you can create a really interesting almost storm of sibilance. The last section of samples is by avant-garde legend Phil Minton, who for many decades has been working in different vocal contexts to develop a voice that is uniquely his own. We had a lot of fun recording him and teasing out the little bits that we would make into samples. The first one is called Bel Canto Gliss. <laughs> more abstract samples is Phil Minton's distorted sub, and this creates really amazing textural beds of low end. Perfect for all your dragon sound needs. Phil's background as an improviser really informed a lot of the direction of these samples. So again, we have these really um, complex phrases. And without any processing. One of Phil Minton's signature sounds is his control over multiphonics, so singing more than one pitch at a time. This is uh, an example without any processing. But we've designed processing to really bring out a lot of the interesting sounds here. of fill samples is really huge, uh, from you know an aggressive low-end dragon sound to something much more soft, in soft tonal modulation. kind of choir and bell-like sounds of this one. So I'd really love to hear this one with some different reverb. I think uh, adding a longer tail could make it really beautiful. We'll try Church Far, and we'll turn up the percentage quite a bit. Definitely much more spacious, much more church-like kind of sound. Phil Minton's throat rhythms is a really amazing one that you can do a lot of uh, laying the groundwork for making interesting beats with. <laughs> Phil Minton as Grendel in this pack uh, has some really amazing kind of throat singing qualities to it. Another sound that showcases the diversity of the sample pack is uh, Phil Minton's short whistles. <laughs> Phil
Phil Minton's Wild Air sample is one of the more textural ones that we have. Definitely in the storm and sea category. In addition to the more textural and rhythmic elements that we have from Phil, we also have some really beautiful tonal moments. Here's Phil's tonal pad. Wilmington's soft yodel is another really eccentric one that we have. So that was without processing, um, and then to hear the kind of processing that we've added. Really interesting sounds in here. As always, it's been a pleasure to work with Spitfire Audio to create such a powerful and unique tool. I'm really excited to see what people make with this thing. It can really encompass a huge range of uses from eccentric Foley to whacked out hip hop to sound design to modern composition. I think that everybody will find something in here and I'm excited to see what you all uncover with it. My accompanying album of the same name is out now on SA Recordings that features contributions from all of the artists in the library, including myself and Ben Vida as a duo. So please be sure to go and check that out. Thanks everybody for watching.